This here is a 2015 Chevrolet Impaler Limited flavor. Nah, nah, we're not gonna do that. No, no, no. So uh, today on this here 2015 Impala Limited L LTZ with the 3.6 liter LFX, I'm going to be doing this uh, BG engine performance restoration engine flush. And you know, we won't be showing this, but I'll be adding this to the tank to clean the injectors. Uh, this car's got about 75,000 miles. Um, I bought it at 62K. Carfax kind of showed the history up to this point, but I'm going to get rid of some sludge, which these motors are notorious for. So uh, let's uh, hit the intro and get into it. So first things first, I bought some cheap oil from Walmart, the Super Tech. It was like 50 bucks for 12, qu 12 quarts. This is going to be rinse oil. I also bought two straight up uh, PF63 oil filters. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drain the old oil. I'm going to throw in six quarts of this, a new, or new filter, six quarts, and the BG. EPR and then we're gonna run it uh, I think I gotta run let me look at the directions here it says to run bring it to full operating temperature and run engine for a minimum of 10 minutes at 1200 rpm okay so that's what we're gonna do 10 minutes I thought it was gonna be longer than that I might go 15 minutes just for the fuck of it what could it hurt so then when that's done, I'm going to drain that oil out and we're going to throw another six quarts in and a fresh filter. And then I'll run that for 15, 20 minutes. I mean, we'll do 1200 RPM to rinse all that out. And then we'll change that oil and then I'm going to go with uh, some good shit, Valvoline Extender Protection. And I got a uh, UPF 63R. AC Delco gold filter and we'll run that for the next 4,000 miles. Ultra Guard gold, yeah. So if you haven't seen any of my earlier videos, um, I had advocated for Valvoline Modern Engine. That stuff's been discontinued. So this is what I'm running now. This costs a little bit more than the full synthetic. This is, I've reached out to Valvoline and asked them if this is a good substitute for modern engine. They said, yeah, it's actually better. So I'm hoping that uh, at least with the Valvoline modern engine, I was consuming about a quarter core to every 5,000 miles. Hopefully this is a little better. Um, just to catch all you non-subscribers up, um, I have a catch can plumbed into the dirty side of the PCV and I have a uh, clean side separator plumb to the clean side that virtually guarantees 100% of the blow by stays out of the intake and thus off the backs of the intake valves um, I recommend maybe running some uh, trying to remember what it's called I'll flash it on the screen and edit this in post with that uh, CRC intake valve cleaner. Run that through your intake. I'm not going to at this time. Like I said, this car only had 62,000 miles on when I bought it. And I put the catch can on right away and the oil separator about five months after I bought the car, so I'm not too worried about the valves being bad or the intake being full of shit. But if you have more miles and it's a questionable history, you might want to do that. You might want to take your intake off and soak it in some chemical, uh, super clean purple power to clean it up. 
or you might want to clean your throttle body. I did that the last time I changed the oil, so I'm good there. But uh, I'm going to commence with changing the oil, and we'll do phase one. All right, I'm completely flabbergasted here. I thought there was 12 one-quart bottles in this box. Well, I go to take it apart. There's a damn, this is like wine in a box. <laughs> There's a bag inside here that contains 12 quarts of oil. So, <laughs> I, hmm. So, hey, if you're getting this, this was considerably cheaper than getting the, the, five, ga the five quart jug five quart jug and a single quart this was 50 bucks for this I think it was gonna cost 10 bucks more to go the other route so uh, yeah I'll figure this out shouldn't be difficult to I mean I got old quart jugs of oil I can <laughs> use to measure out six quarts Whew. all right So on with the show. So in case you missed my video from like three, three and a half years ago, we're uh, explaining how to change the oil on this uh, LFX. Um, I'm gonna show you 15 millimeter socket. Um, so for reference, passenger side of the car, kind of this half of the grill go down look straight under the car I'll get you some light under here and go under here right past the cross member I'm trying to get some light under here and come on light It's tough to see where I'm filming here. Well, all right, let me just set it. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera right here. I'm gonna point at where the, oh, damn it, the cluster plug. That didn't work. <laughs> just pointing at the Take 72. I'm laying at the front of the damn car trying to show you where the damn. It's right there. That's it right there. There is your drain plug. It's right next to the exhaust manifold. So when you're looking under the car, there it is right there. That's it right there. So I'm going to be draining this oil three times. So yeah, just for reference, passenger side, come under here. There it is, right there. So now while I'm letting that drain, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to dump some of this 44K down the uh, gas tank. So this says it'll treat up to 20 gallons. We got a 15 gallon tank in the ninth gen. So, and I bought two funnels so I wouldn't be cross contaminating either one. So, I don't know, might need a <laughs> utility knife to cut this tape. Yeah, right. Hey, there we go. That could work. And maybe I could get this with one hand. Doubtful. In this instance, a tripod is your friend. Ah, oh, there we go. Golden elixir. Let's see if maybe I can, uh... oh yeah. It goes right over the top. I also wanted to add, I bought a gold plug I put this in last oil change. Didn't have anything on the end of the magnet though. 
but it uh I could have just stuck that up on the subframe there it would have stayed there because it actually flung up on there while I was taking it out to clean it but here we go for those of you that want one gold plug I can't read that AP04 I will link this in the description Here we go, right down the old coulé. Well, wouldn't you know it, it fits right in there. Yep, got it all. Hopefully this cleans out my uh, DI injectors. Another thing I'm going to do while I'm waiting is I'm going to empty out my catch can. I do not have a dump valve on the bottom of this. But uh, we'll take a look at how much this thing's going on to the, clean, to the dirty side. Yeah, there isn't much in there. And as I said before, in the winter, this fills up with condensation. I tried putting some insulation around this. It didn't make any difference. But uh, yeah, I got the uh, lead engineering clean side separator popped open. And uh, yeah, you can see there's some Definitely some oil in there. So she's doing her job. Uh, this thing is supposed to come apart so you can clean it. I elect not to do that at this time. Might not be a bad idea. I usually uh, take the little screen off here and clean it out. But it's, it's working fine, I'm gonna leave it alone. And you know, it would be a good time to clean your K&N filter, but Again, probably have less than, I probably have about 5,000 miles on this, so. All right, so I did figure out how this comes apart. You just grasp this and twist and this. So let's have a little look at what's inside here. It just looks like a little SOS pad. <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> that's what's inside there. Okay, well, it's got some oil on it. As long as that stuff coalesces on here, it's, hey, works for me. So if you wanna see how that how I installed this, uh, go look back on the archives of my channel. I'll, I'll post a link. But uh, essentially, there's two pieces of this. The uh, You take your oil cap out, and this has a uh, piece that screws in place here, oil cap. And I'm going to leave it in here. I don't think it's necessary to ever remove this. I'm just showing it for video's sake. But you can easily add your oil to this with that still in place. I mean, I see no reason to take this cover off. And I have the little spring clamp, I can take this off easily. But uh, yeah, lead engineering clean side oil separator. All right, so she's drained out and I went back and put the plug back in. So now I wanna zoom in on the fill tray. I went ahead and moved my, I don't think you can see it under here. I moved the drain pan so you can see it. There's a little chute right behind here and that shoots the excess down into the drain pan. So, trying to shine as much light on this as I can, but, uh, uh, man, that thing's on there. I have to put a screwdriver through this thing. I got it on there so damn tight. 
or I get my strap wrench out. So with a little assistance of a strap wrench, I got it loose. And there's a lot of threads on this here filter. And here she is. I like to mark when I changed the oil and what the mileage was. So I'm going to be doing this two more times. Now there's a good view of where that filter sits. Rat chair. There's that little tray. So I have to get that filter out of there just you know, wipe this down, wipe the tray, and then go uh, put some oil in your filter. So this here uh, Super Tech bottle, it's just like a box O wine. Look at that. I'm gonna fill the center all the way to the top and then let her settle. I don't want to fill this all the way full because it sits sideways on the engine. So get her to the top, take a we'll dab a little on the gasket. Ooh, and stop all the drips. So there she goes. We're ready to put that in. I'm just going to give it one last little wipe just to get any excess out of here. Try to spin around quick so you don't spill all that fresh oil all over the place. She takes a while because there are a lot of threads on here. Get her snug and then go a quarter turn past. Now we're ready to uh, ready to add that uh, BG. So I got my uh, regular funnel ready to go. She fits right inside that. We're gonna. So I'm going to get that little funnel that goes with this thing. I don't know. Do I really need it? I don't think so. Just Mmm. Smell that aroma. Whew. All right. So I have a full jug of oil, five quarts on the left. This one's empty. I'm just gonna, I just drew a line where that was full to. That's where I'm gonna fill that to. That's five quarts, I'll dump that in. And then I'll go back and fill it another quart. That's six quarts. Boom, that solves my conundrum. She's filling up pretty quick. It's already up to two. There's three. There's four. Oh, we're almost there. Just about. There's five. Done. The 
Necessity is the mother of invention. MacGyver is the father. So that was five. Oh, I can smell that BG. I really like this Elite Engineering, uh, the bottom cap, it holds my filter, or I'm sorry, my funnel. Alright, so that's five. I'm going to do this, the sixth quart. You don't need to see that. I think you get the hint. But these three sixes do take six quarts. Just keep that in mind. Ah, ah, I'll record it anyway. Here's the last quart. Read me more. So now I should have six quarts left in that Super Tech jug. So now we can check the food. I don't know that all six have drained down yet, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't drain down yet. It says you can add this right to the used oil, so, and it's so thin, I don't think it's, it's not like Lucas, where you'd use it to substitute. Oh, wow, why don't you go back on there? There we go. This hose is giving me trouble. So, set that aside. I'm just going to leave the drain. Ah, I shouldn't leave the drain pan under the car because i got to empty the damn thing. But man, you can smell those chemicals, whatever the hell's in that BG. Oh yeah, looks good now. So I'm going to go empty that dirty oil and then we'll, uh, we'll fire her up. So just for uh, reference, I just want to show what the the regular dirty oil looks like. As I spill it everywhere. I'll zoom in on this uh, stuff that I spilled on the jug. You can kind of get the color. We'll see what comes out of here after the first. That's kind of what we're talking about here. And what do I clean oil spills up on the concrete with? Super clean, of course. If you hadn't noticed, I'm rocking the super clean shirt today. Super clean also sells a uh, oil absorbent, which I do not have at the moment, but uh, this stuff will. Uh, Clean these oil stains right off your concrete and your blacktop for that matter. Aside from the little divots in the concrete, there is no more oil. Super clean. It's super clean on grease. Super tough on grease. Sorry. I'm saying the tagline wrong. All right, I got a timer ready to go. We're going to bring the proverb. Pro, yeah. We are going to bring the proverbial thunder. 
And we're gonna hold her at 15, or 1500 RPM. All right, there's the thunder. Let's bring her up to 15, and maybe we'll go a little higher than 1500. I gotta start, damn it, thing turned off. I gotta start the timer. Let's do it. Two, let's hold her at 2000. Keep my timer going. We don't need to record this whole thing. Just wanna make sure I'm idling a little fast. We're about 2100. I think I can hold my foot right here. I'm gonna kill my fuel economy. But at the same time, I'm running fuel injector cleaner through here, so. So, uh, away we go. Bad, but they're a little ricey. So as I'm I sitting like here, I don't like them. I'm not sure what to do with the wheels yet. I uh, got my phone connected. Bad, Auto Link. I never showed you that uh, to my yeah, Toto. I'm watching some YouTube. Watching Big so Al, Big Al's auto repair on latest here. video as I'm uh, that fourth passing wheel the time the here. Trunk, which you can't open. See, so, yeah, another thing that the Toto does. The, the hatch will sever off. So I uh, turned the timer up to 20 minutes. And I'm going, you know, about 2100 RPM. I've been keeping an eye on the gauges, giving a little listen from now on, making sure everything sounds fine. I suppose I could have hooked up my Tech 2 to this to check the oil pressure, but everything's going fine. Now we're under a minute. I think I'm going to let it down. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to let it down just a little bit. I don't want to just shut the engine off when I have it at 2,000 RPM. Just kind of, kind of slow her down just a little bit. Let her idle down as we're in the final few seconds. So far so good. I don't smell anything. In, well, I've been sitting in the air conditioning the whole time. Let's get her down to idle as we're about to hit zero. All right, there's my timer. Dismiss. Okay, let's let her. I'm totally off the throttle now. Okay, let's give her a couple seconds. Okay, and done. So this next time I'm gonna hit the timer for 20 minutes. Okay, let me shut this off. Sorry, dealing with the other phone here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and drain this oil. <laughs> I'm gonna get some thicker gloves. Um, and I will uh, check back and I'll show you what this uh, oil looks like, the flush oil. It was just my luck when I was taking this off the gold plug, I dropped the washer in the damn oil pan. So I'm just going to put my original on just for the next the next uh, rinse phase. But uh, boy, I tell you what. I tell you what. This stuff was runny. You can kind of see it. You can hear it running. That stuff is runny. And man, it stinks. I'll tell you what, it stinks. <laughs> so I'll uh, check in with you, show you what that uh, the uh, flush oil looks like. I also was gonna say, when you do this, when you drain an oil hot, make sure you got some good thick gloves. Not these little flimsy neoprene gloves, because you will burn your hands, because that exhaust manifold's right by that drain plug. And not to mention the oil's really damn hot. So, safety last. Okay, so remember this car only has 75,000 miles on it. Just judging by it, it doesn't look like it's very dirty. But as they say, your mileage may vary. Let's, uh...
see if she's running more than anything. Oh, I'm spilling it all over the damn floor. Yeah, it's really fucking runny. Probably because it's hot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely dirtier than what the oil looked like when it was fresh. Oh, the solvents are really, you can really see the solvents on the bottom of the oil pan. There's that ma that washer. Ah, it's not magnetic because I couldn't pick it up with my magnet. There you are, you little son of a bitch. Yeah, it's aluminum. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you can still see the solvents on the bottom of that thing. Well, now that we got that, I'm gonna throw it back under the car. We're I put the oil in already. We're ready for the rinse phase. So there's the. definitely cleaned. I mean, you can tell this is definitely dirty oil, but it's, you know, it's still nice and fresh. I'm still, the, the BG tells you to put it, dump it in your dirty oil. I'm, I'm not uh, comfortable with doing that. I think this did, this did a, an admirable job. So now we're gonna rinse all this out. And then we're gonna do another drain. Another, oh, I did change the filter too. Then we'll change the filter one more time and put the good oil in here one more time and call it good. All right, we're ready to do it again. Rinse phase, commence. Oil light, no oil light, I mean, went out. Okay, here we go. 20 minutes. Bring her up to 2,000. Slowly. There we go. We'll settle in right there. I'm gonna throw YouTube up on my, <laughs> plug this phone back in, watch some more YouTube. So that was 20 minutes on the rinse phase. I'm gonna get to draining and uh, we'll see what that looks like. So I got the rinse oil drained. I'm put back together. I got my UPF 63R installed, dated and mileaged. We're all buttoned up. I'm gonna, in a sec, I still have the oil. This is from the flush and this is from the rinse. I got one quart dumped in. We're gonna get the rest of the five of the good shit dumped in. Favelline extended protection. Down the old gullet here. And then I'll uh, get that pan out from under the car and you know, throw the uh, cardboard down so I don't have to use any more super clean. Not sponsored by the way. Valvoline, hit me up man. I just uh, did the annual oil change in the wife's cruise and I put uh, this stuff in there. Cause I can't get modern engine anymore. That car does not use a single drop of oil. We put about 1500 a year on that car, so yeah, I change the oil once a year. <laughs> okay, I'll check that level in a sec, but uh, 
Let's get that drain pan out. All right, here's the rinse oil. Oh. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, very clean. All right, there we go. I let a little bit dribble on the thing again. Okay, so this, yes. Take a look at that. So I think this doing a rinse is absolutely necessary. So uh, here we go, let's do a little comparison. I'll just dump a little of this right on this container. I'll hit it up with some super clean afterwards. Okay, first, here's the flush oil. Let's just dump a little bit right here. And that's the rinse right there. So here's the flush oil. Yep, there's your comparison right there. Flush oil on the left, rinse oil on the right. Let me, uh, now that you see that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dump that the rest of the way. Here's the rinse oil. Yeah, there it is. So, I definitely recommend doing the, the rinse. Oh, I still have the, the oil from when I, the used stuff that has 4,500 miles on it. It's uh, <laughs> I'm spilling over onto the floor now. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> okay, so it's not quite, the flush oil wasn't quite that bad. But you get the picture. All right, so I'm full six quarts. I got the good oil in. Just gonna give her a start. Everything sounds good. I'm gonna go in and change my, ooh, I gotta add some air to my left tire. Set that to zero, and I'm gonna set trip B, and we went 4809. We're gonna set that to zero. <laughs> Whoa, let's go back to that. 16.2 <laughs> from sitting here idling. <laughs> okay, well, that took probably close to four hours to do that, start to finish. Um, I'm gonna do this once a year just because I probably didn't need to do it at 75,000 miles, but I think with this 3.6, it's gonna be a good uh, good routine to start with it. Keep it. Keep that thing nice and clean. I mean, you can't fully trust, even if you use the best synthetic oil. I mean, yeah, doing all the routine maintenance, changing the oil every four to 5,000 miles, putting in that top of the line synthetic Dexos oil you know that all helps but uh, you know why the hell not do it um there you go I mean I showed you you could do it real easy it doesn't take much that rinse oil I bought from Walmart it was 50 bucks I mean what the hell you can stay on top of keeping all those uh you know, the uh, cam tensioner, I'm sorry, the timing chain tensioner, the cam phasers, and the VVT solenoids, keep all them nice and pristine. You shouldn't ever have any issues with this motor. So, uh, if you found this in informational at all, please give me a thumbs up. And hey, I'm gonna, gonna throw this out there. Look down below, there's a little thing that says thanks. If this, you're feeling generous, donate to the cause. Toss me five bucks, I don't care. Whatever. Not begging, I don't need it, but I'm just saying, if you wanna show some appreciation, Super Thanks is now uh, enabled on my channel. So thanks again to everybody for subscribing.
and watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Until next time, deuces.